In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple abstract logo design using Affinity Designer. This will be a good walkthrough if you're a beginner to the software or if you just want an exercise in some of the more advanced features in Affinity Designer. Before we get started though, be sure to join my mailing list to receive over 200 free design templates including logos, avatars, textures, infographics, and so much more. As a subscriber, you'll be the first to receive the free templates that I send out each month. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. And now that that's out of the way, let's get started. So I'm going to open a new document by pressing Command N or Control N and I want to size my document at 800 by 800 pixels. So go ahead and type in those inputs and then click the Create button. And now I want to come over here to my Shapes tool and hold a click over that and I'm looking for the Triangle tool. So I'm going to select Triangle and I will hold Shift and click and drag on the canvas to draw a triangle like that. And now I'm just going to place this on the center of the page. Once that's set, let's grab the Circles tool and I'm going to click and drag and draw a circle. I'm going to hold my Shift key so that it is a perfectly round circle. And let me place this over the center of the triangle. I'm going to align this on the center of the page just like the triangle is. And I'm going to enable the wireframe view or the wireframe display mode. You can access that in the menus up here. I just like to use the keyboard shortcut though, which is Command Y or Control Y if you're on Windows. And the benefit of this is that we can see through these shapes that overlap each other, kind of like X-ray vision, which is helpful for what we're trying to do here. So I'm going to resize this circle a bit and I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to hold Shift while I do that. And the idea is we want the circle to cover the bottom two triangles right there or the bottom two corners of the triangle. And I'm just going to size that, change the size a little more. And I'm trying to visualize the shape right here. It's kind of like an arrow shape and this circle is going to represent the bottom of the shape. And once we have a size and position that's good, I'm going to hold shift and click on the triangle so that we have both shapes selected. And then I will click on the subtract Boolean operation up here. So I'll click on that. And now we have our shape. So let me take that shape and put it on the center of the page. And now let's exit out of wireframe display mode by pressing command Y again. So with our shape, I'm going to apply a stroke. So I'll come over here. I'm going to remove the fill first and then I'll come over to the stroke tab and I'm just going to bring that slider to the right to apply a stroke and I'm going to make it pretty heavy about that much. And the settings I want to use for the cap, I want to use this one over here to the right, which is a square cap for the join. I want this one over here to the right, which is miter join. And for the align, make sure you have this first option on the left, which is align stroke to center. And then we should end up with an object like this. And in fact, I'm going to make this a little heavier. There we go. Now let's grab the nodes tool. I'm going to select this node right here and I'm going to hold my shift key and select these two nodes down here as well so that we have the three corner nodes selected. And then I'm going to click this button up here in the toolbar that says break curves. And when I do that, you can see it breaks the object up into three separate lines. Now I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'll come up here to layer and I'm going to click on expand stroke. And now there are three different shapes. And now let's go back into wireframe view. I'm going to press command Y again. And with these three objects selected, I'm going to break everything up into individual objects based on these individual pieces that you see here. And to do that, I'm just going to click this button in the toolbar that says divide, the divide Boolean operation. And now we have separate pieces there. And I'm going to go and take these little pieces that extend beyond the shape and just delete them. I'm going to click on them and press the delete key to get rid of them. And then I'll come up here and do the same thing. We want to get rid of these pieces as well. And now I'm going to start shaping this thing a little bit. So I'm going to select this object up here first and I'm going to grab the nodes tool and I'm going to take these three nodes right here and press delete to get rid of them. And that's going to flatten out the top of the shape. And then I'll come down here. I want to take this object. I want to take these three nodes right here and I'm going to hold shift and take this node right here. So we have these four nodes selected and I'll press delete to get rid of them. And if you zoom in, you can see this line is a little bit curved here, which we don't want. So I'm going to click on that node and then I'm going to hold my option key and click on that handle to delete it. And we're going to get a straight line. If you're a Windows user, that would be the alt key. And then I'll come over here and do the same thing only 
mirrored. So I'm gonna select these nodes right here, these four nodes, press delete, click on this node right here and then hold the option key, click on the handle to get rid of it and straighten that out. And now we have the beginning of our logo. So now we can just use the shape builder to make this into three separate shapes. So let me grab my selection tool. I'm gonna to select all of this. And then I will go into the shape builder tool. I want to choose the addition option where it says add, click on that or the plus sign. And I'm gonna draw a line through these two shapes right here. So that's one shape. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Draw a line through these two shapes. Now that's one shape. And then I'll do the same thing over here. And now we have our logo design. So let me go back to the selection tool. Let's get out of wireframe mode. I'm gonna press command Y. And now we have three different shapes. So now we can apply gradients to this thing to give it this colored shading effect that I have here in the thumbnail. So to do that, with the object selected, I'll come over here to the color tab and I'm going to use a color, uh, a shade of like reddish pink, something like that. And I'm gonna apply a gradient to this. So I'm gonna grab my gradient tool over here. You can also access it by pressing the letter G on your keyboard. And from the type drop down, I'm gonna choose linear. And then I'm gonna change the colors of this gradient. I'm gonna click on this stripe up here and I wanna select this darker end of the gradient and then click on this stripe and I'm gonna make this even darker. I'm gonna make it a little more darker by sliding that to the left and I'm gonna move it more towards purple like that. Maybe even make it a little darker. Move it more towards purple. There we go and I think that looks better. So we can close out of that now. Let's deselect everything by pressing the escape key and now I'm gonna click on just this object right here and I could take these handles of the gradient now and position them like this. We want the dark end of the gradient going over here because we want to make it look like we want to make it look like this part of the shape is casting a shadow over this part of the shape because it's overlapping it. And then we'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to put the darker handle over here and then put the lighter handle over here. Let me move that over a little bit. So it looks like this object is casting a shadow over this object. And then finally the same thing over here. And then I'll move this up like that. And pretty simple, there we go. So let me grab my selection tool. We now have the logo or the color version of the logo finished. So what I'm gonna do now is create a monotone copy of the logo. Monotone copies are always good to have for logos. They make good decals and watermarks and they allow you to like carve into a piece of wood. This logo as it is right now doesn't work very well with monotone. You get a single shape like that. So let me undo that. And I'm gonna make a copy of this. I'm gonna hold option and click and drag to create copies of this. And with these selected, I'm gonna make everything here black. And then I'm gonna apply a stroke. So I'm gonna come over here to the stroke tab and I'm gonna bring this to the right to apply a stroke. And let me make this stroke a different color just so I can see what I'm working with. And then I'll come back in here. And the settings I wanna use for this stroke, I wanna make the join squared and the align, I wanna place this on the outside of the shape. So choose this option over here on the right. And now I can adjust the size. The size of the stroke is gonna represent the size of the spacing between the objects we're about to cut off. So let me adjust that about that much. And once it looks something like that, you can go to layer and choose expand stroke. And now select everything here, click and drag over all of it. And I would suggest going back into wireframe mode. So I'm gonna press command Y. It just makes it easy to visualize what we're doing here. And let's go to the shape builder. Now let's choose the subtract option by clicking the minus icon. And I wanna create some negative space going right here. So I'm gonna subtract these shapes by clicking and dragging a line going through this area. And for this part, we'll have to click and drag another line going through there. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I wanna subtract these areas in here. Oops, I made a mistake there. Let me undo that. If you make a mistake, just press Command Z or Control Z to undo. Let me subtract that. Okay, looking good. Come over here and do the same thing. Let me subtract this area. And then subtract this. And everything here is looking good. Now we just have to go to the addition setting and then just combine these shapes together inside of here like this. 
And now we can go back into the selection mode and you can see we have the two variations of our logo now. We have the full color shape and then we have the monotone shape. So let me get out of wireframe mode, command Y. And to show you what I mean, I can make this now a single color. I'll go with black for example. And now we have a monotone version of that logo. And I'm gonna make a copy of this and bring this off the screen and I'll make this white so you can see it works in white as well. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.